Hey guys, David Lemon here, and in this video I'm going to be telling you about the changes that went live for Groove Cell. There was a couple of interesting changes, nothing major, but there is actually one that is going to be pretty significant for a lot of our users. So let's jump in. Um, so one of the first things that I want to mention is a new cool thing that was added, is if you go to your funnels, and here you see all your product funnels, let me just come down to this side, if you go over to uh, to manage this funnel, you can go over to the three dots and then go into funnel settings. This will open up this edit product funnel option. And here we added a new cool thing, which is uh, which says sender name email for transactional emails. Example, receipts, affiliates, notification, etc. So this means that you can, you can select a sender from GrooveMail and use the name and the email for transactional emails like receipts, affiliate notifications and things like that. When somebody purchases your product, currently we have the default sender set up uh, for GrooveSell from this email address. So this email address is sending out the notifications and the receipts and the things like that for your customers. But you can now change that. By going into GrooveMail, and let's just do that together, by going into GrooveMail, in the sender settings, you can create a new sender so you can create a new sender, an email sender, and put in your sender identity, sender name, email, reply email, you add in your business information, and then you decide which SMTP driver you want to use. Uh, for those of you guys that already got access to the GrooveMail SMTP, you can use that one, or if you, if you haven't yet, then you can use any other, uh, any other ones that you have connected. So currently, we are we are rolling out GrooveMail SMTP, so it's just a matter of time until you get it. But uh, you can already use that with any of the when with any of your other senders that you may have. So if you already have connected any other senders, then you'll be able to use that one. But going back to GrooveSell, uh, so this shows up for existing funnels, so you can set up a sender for existing funnels. But in case you create a new one, you will also be able to to set up a sender that you decide uh, that a verified sender. So you need to verify it here in GrooveMail, and those that are verified, you'll be able to see inside GrooveSell as well. Pretty small functionality, but it's a pretty cool thing that we that we have. We added on another cool feature, which is pretty small, but it's significant, uh, which is four months for recurring pricing. So whenever you're setting up the intervals for recurring pricing, now you have the option to set up every four months as well. We call this also try annually, so three times a year. Um, and this will be over here inside pricing. And when somebody says, okay, uh, set up installments or any recurring pricing, you now have the option every four months. Let's see them here, all right? And this is how it's going to show up on the checkout form. Try annual payments of $99, for example. So there were other small improvements, like for example, the pricing string changes. So we had some different text before, for example, we removed the word ongoing for uh, all recurring price points. So we do not mention now ongoing. Uh, and we also removed the word for in pricing string for both installments and recurring price points. So previously we were saying initial payment of uh, da 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 for three months and then uh, additional payments of uh, $50 for every month or something like that. So there it was a, an extra four. Uh, word here. We basically removed that one. There was another string change for whenever there is a free trial. We now say free uh, for trial period, so free for 10 days, and then additional payment of X amount of dollars. So this is now how we are wording the, uh, the explanation of the pricing over here on the checkout pages. All right, uh, moving on, there were a couple of other improvements, like for example, you can now refund test transaction as well, just to see uh, how it works. And also, in case you would like to set up your webhooks and, and uh, automations integrations based on that. So if you go into your reporting, and let's just see if we have any transactions over the past 30 days. So these transactions need to be I need to have a dollar amount. So for example, here I will select something with a dollar amount and I was using a test Stripe account 
so basically this was a test transaction so I can refund this one and see if the webhooks are firing if the integrations will start working and uh, create automations based on that so now you can do the refunds in order to test your automations ahead of time and then we added additional uh, additional automation for calculations of the processing fee so whenever you set up a payment gateway that is a uh, groove pay which is over here so if you have a groove pay payment gateway now we automatically process uh, we automatically calculate the processing fee um, you don't have, you don't need to do anything over there so in certain cases when you are setting up your uh, your payment gateways you can do this override okay this is not there is no override but for example for stripe here in stripe you need to manually put in the processing fees but in GroovePay you don't need to do that anymore we do that for you right now so that's basically it ladies and gentlemen there were a couple of small changes for GrooveCell hopefully you like them uh, we are we are working on a lot more changes for GrooveCell uh, these were just released in the past couple of days so I just wanted to inform you all about that okay See you then. Bye-bye.